Well, here we are, day 25 in the garage out of 30 days. 30 days in a row, one video every day, too many van window videos. Time to get down to the fun stuff. That's right, YZ250. behind me is the 1987 YZ250 uh, two-stroke. I bought that thing for $200. The reason I bought it was literally just because it was $200. And since I've had it in the shed for about a year, I've been thinking it would be awesome to put that 250 motor on a go-kart, on my go-kart. This is the first video in a series of videos that I'm going to make about putting that 250 motor on my Manco Dingo go-kart. There's a lot to do. I gotta think about the drivetrain. You know, I don't know if the axle on the Manco is gonna be usable or if I'm gonna have to figure out a better axle that can take more torque because that in its heyday was a 48 horsepower motor and the motor I have on my go-kart right now is six and a half. So it's gonna be a big jump and my go-kart has a CVT clutch so having a manual transmission is gonna be, in my opinion, a big step up. I wanna keep the wheels the rear wheels that I have, but I don't know if they're gonna be able to withstand 48 horsepower. Even some dirt bikes, the tires slip on the rims from what I understand, so we'll see what happens there. I'd like to put front brakes on the go-kart. What I have right now is half of a hydraulic brake system. I sort of pillaged the brake system to repair a motorcycle I have, so I'm gonna have to reconsider all that. Another thing I'm gonna have to think about is the clutch and the gear shift placement. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna do a hand clutch with a foot shifter or hand shifters with a foot clutch. I'm probably gonna have to reinforce the frame. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out a gas tank for it right now. I have a helium tank from Walmart on there. That might be all right, but the plywood that I use to keep it in place is not gonna be good. We're gonna have to figure out some metal straps. Before I really can get into all this, I need to make sure the motor is actually salvageable. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you guys the kind of compression this thing has. This is a cheapo Amazon Harbor Freight compression tester, so I never know if I should trust it, but... I mean, I can just push it with my hands. Yeah, 50. I'm not a dirt bike expert here, and maybe you guys can chime in in the comments, but 45 PSI, I think it's pretty cooked. From what I read, just from a quick Google search, it looks like it should be 180, which seems really high to me, but maybe it's just a two-stroke thing. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. They say some of the newer bikes are at like 250, 200, 250, which seems really, really high to me. But I mean, I would expect to see at least 100. And some people are saying they're having poor performance at 125. So we got bad compression, so we got to investigate. But I know the motor has to come off because I'm putting it on my go-kart. So I'm going to take the motor off and then I'll see about taking it apart. Got the motor out. If you guys want to see me put this motor on a go-kart, go from six and a half horsepower to 48 horsepower, hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be making a whole series about this thing.
tomorrow. I'll dig into this bad boy and see what we're dealing with as far as why there's bad compression and see what other kind of loose parts we got jangling around in there. Finally, it's gonna be fun. For real. Shout out to my cousins who are also building their own go-kart and uh, we're gonna ride them together up north in northern Michigan. It's gonna be awesome. Um, so pressure's on you guys to finish your carts because now it's public, so. You know who you are. That's how this is gonna sound soon. It's gonna be dope. Stay tuned guys, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy it and you're already subscribed or even if you're not subscribed, hit the like button. I'm excited. Can't wait for you guys to see this. Can't wait to see this myself. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now. So uh, see you tomorrow.